Hey everyone, welcome to Season 3 of Bolt's Tutorials. What's up everybody, Bolts Tutorials is back and I'm just getting started. This season is going to be entirely focused on the production process of a short film. Not just my short film, nothing personal, but also Ryan has two upcoming short films that we plan on doing this year. So there are some good episodes there. Now the first step in any film is obviously your story, which is pretty self-explanatory. If you can't tell a story, then you really shouldn't be working. The first step in writing your film is a screenplay. Now I know that some may say there are other steps before that, like uh, outline and a uh, synopsis, but to tell you the truth, I really haven't done those things. I don't know, I guess I'm just kind of lazy and I just jump straight to the screenplay. I might get some heat for that, but that's just how it is, for now anyway. Now for programs to write your screenplays in, there are a lot of ways you can go. The reason you want to work in a proper screenwriting software is because there are certain margins for certain elements of a screenplay. What's better with the certified programs is that you don't have to remember where the margins are if you're doing it in, say, Microsoft Word, which is a huge time saver. I wrote nothing personal in a free program called Celtex, and it was pretty damn good. But thanks to the good people at Film Riot, I have now since been turned over to Adobe Story. And I've been hooked ever since. I've been writing screenplays, short films, skits, character bios, and a few uh, short narratives that we might get into in a future episode. Today, I'm going to show you the proper formats of a screenplay. That was an X from a script that you might recognize. Anyways, let's talk about the format. First is your scene heading. You write down what the scene is. If it takes place indoors, you write INT for interior. If it takes place outdoors, write EXT. The entire scene heading is always capitalized, remember that. Thankfully, most screenwriting software does this automatically. Next, where does it take place, such as a living room, a bedroom, a restaurant, etc. Next, when, daytime, evening, and so on. Then comes the action. This is the part where you describe the scene in its entirety. Introduce characters and their circumstances. Now, you, now when you introduce new characters, you should write their full names down, what they're wearing, what they look like, and a little information about their personalities. Then comes dialogue. First, you want to write down the name of the speaking character. The character's names are always capitalized, and with Celtex and Adobe Story, it automatically remembers the names of the characters after you wrote them down the first time. For dialogue, it's pretty self-explanatory. If there's a certain way you want the actors to deliver the dialogue, you write that in the parentheticals, which is a lot of fun to say. If they're coughing, out of breath, panicking, cowardly, whatever, that's what you write down. Last thing I want to talk about is your drafts. Now, you never want to write one draft and make that into a movie. Once you finish your first draft, send it out to other people. I, when I finished Nothing Personal, I sent it off to Ryan, Justin, uh, Wetrick, and a bunch of other filmmaking friends to give, them, to give me feedback. That's important. They may criticize you, but criticism comes with everything. In the words of Don Wetrick, collaboration is key. Well guys, that's it for the Season 3 premiere of Bolts Tutorials, and don't worry, we got lots more coming. And next month, I will be on location helping to shoot Ryan's short film called Synchronize. Now, I can't give much away because it's his short film, and, you know, he can talk about it however he wants, so it's up, for, it's up to him to decide that. But while on location, I will be shooting some behind-the-scenes photos while we're there. But that's it for now. If you have any questions, please leave them down in the comments. And if you like this video, please subscribe. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at ThomasBolt1, like the Thunderbolt Films Facebook page, and follow me on Instagram at the Tom Bolt. Thanks for watching. Take care.